So again, my name is Wade Cantrell, Cantrell's Computer Sales and Service. Today I'm going to talk to you about statistics on cybercrime and then a little bit of solutions uh, associated with that. But first, uh, let me share with you uh, my Valentine, Betty. Uh, in the middle is my favorite picture, that is the day we're married. I also look pretty good, I think, on the left. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. So if you know me, you know that I have talked quite a bit about cybercrime. And why is that? And the reason why is that cybercrime is, is growing very rapidly. It is affecting local businesses. And the key thing that everybody should realize is, is yes, there are some target industries like healthcare and finance, but regardless of the size, the vertical, the location, everybody is being a target. So I was talking about the FBI and the IC, IC3. IC3 is a division of the FBI and they are uh, tasked with um, coming up with statistics for the crime in the United States and the world associated with internet crime. The reason I had the show of hands is because there's not a whole lot of people that really know about the IC3. IC3, in my opinion, does a very good job of unbiased statistics, but they do not capture everything that's going on out there. So, just from the show of hands, it looks like about 10% of the people here knows about this agency. Therefore, it gives you an idea of possibly what they're missing and what these statistics will share, share with you. Okay, so this week, IC3 came out with a 2019 report. And as it has been a trend, uh, internet crime, cyber crime continues to go up at a rapid pace. You can see the statistics there. Um, key things or complaints are up like from 2018, like 30% uh, uh, damages, 33%. Also, California is, even though we're pretty technical, we're certainly not immune. In fact, California has over double the complaints of any other state in the United States, and uh, over $500 million in damage has been reported to the IC3 from cybercrime in the state of California. Okay, so trends. Imagine this, the IC3 is getting almost 1,300 complaints a day. That is a huge number, okay? Um, ransomware is up uh, by 37% in frequency, much higher in the uh, damages. The biggest uh, crime right now financially is what's called BEC, and if you want to know more about that, you can talk about me, uh, talk with me at a one-to-one. -one. However, the most common is phishing attacks, but if you'll notice, phishing attacks don't generate a whole lot of money. It's more nuisance. Average payout being reported to IC3 is about $500. Okay, so I hear a myth a lot about, well, we're too small as, uh, to be a target. Pro that's probably relatively true. But again, we're all targets in a way because we are, um, it, we're part of a numbers game. We're part of a volume-based attack. And so what's happening is, is that the bad guys throw out a whole bunch of um, phishing attacks, et cetera, and we just get caught up in, in the net. So um, the other thing is to realize is that 60% of the crimes being reported are small businesses. So they're not hitting the big guys anymore because they're pretty well protected. They're hitting the small businesses, so be aware of that. Okay, so why don't we hear about this? Well, there's a number of reasons. Um, the small businesses, most of the time, it's because it's too small, it's not newsworthy. The other reasons, there's a lot of reasons where people are just not reporting because it's embarrassing, there's potential legal ramifications, et cetera, okay? But there are a few out there. How many of you know that in January of this year, both the Contra Costa County Library and the Pittsburgh local Pittsburgh school district both got hit with ransomware, okay? So it is out there, not being reported as much. Okay, so how can we help? My business is designed to help companies reduce their risk of cybercrime, okay, and to be a victim. And so the first thing, and I put this in red, the first thing is to really help businesses assess their current uh, security posture. We can't really make recommendations. And by the way, they're not all technical. A lot of it is procedures, processes, training. 
that's the first place that we would go with a particular business is to ask them if they have time to do an assessment with us. We can give them an idea of, of what their current posture looks like. We also do a lot of different uh, securities at the endpoints network, et cetera. Um, and then we also work with companies to put in email spam, phishing, which reduces the risk of phishing by quite a bit. We also will do training and workshops and a lot of stuff with the data, which includes data backup, business continuity, and um, uh, disaster recovery. So my ask is to make my Valentine happy, make Betty happy, and the way to do this is the great referrals for me. And great referrals include architects and designers, um, local financial analysts and advisors, local engineering firms, um, local attorneys, dentists, nonprofits, especially if they are under HIPAA, and then um, not private schools. So I have a special right now. I have an opportunity because of the tools that are discounted. I can provide a 50% discount on assessments. So if you know anybody who may be a good candidate to have a security assessment, please uh, send them my way. And then our assessment capabilities, we have quite a bit, which includes dark web search, uh, many different assessment tools, also cybersecurity risk and, and reports, and uh, including HIPAA and PCI compliance reports. We can help in that way. Okay, so my thanks for many people in here for your referrals and business. Again, I've, hopefully I've caught everybody here that has either referred me or been a customer. Again, thank you very much. Very much appreciate that. Again, my name is Wade Cantrell, Cantrell's Computer Sales and Service. Thank you.